Hi, my name is Bruce Kramer, and I'd like to talk about the New York Bill for Adoptee Rights, New York Assembly Bill A02901, sponsored by Assemblyman David Weprin of Queens. This is so that adult adoptees can obtain their original birth certificates. Under the current domestic relations law and 80-year-old law, once a person is adopted, the original birth certificate is forever sealed to all except agency staff who are sworn to secrecy. In New York, this rule came about 80 years ago through the influence of Georgia Tan, who ran a black market adoption agency in Tennessee, where birth moms were lied to, many were poor and lacked education, and some were told that the state children's services had taken their child so that Tan could arrange an adoption. Other states allow adult adoptees access to their, their original birth certificates. Arkansas and Kansas have never sealed the original birth certificates for uh, adult ad adoptees. Maine, New Hampshire, Oregon, Alabama have restored equal original birth certificate access for adult adoptees. And Rhode Island, Tennessee, Ohio, New Jersey, Washington State, Colorado, and Illinois allow access with minimal restrictions. Adoptees believe that it's a human right to know our, our origin and identity. We can feel very strongly about having our original birth certificates. Meanwhile, anyone else can obtain a certified copy of their birth certificates. Uh, I have my original birth certificate because when I was adopted, my father, who had gone to law school, was able to, to represent himself in court, and he just took all the records very wisely. Uh, meanwhile, even though I have my original birth certificate, I have this strange feeling that I should not have it, that it could be taken away from me at any point, which doesn't make sense. But anyway, if adoptees are able to reunite with their birth parents, they can obtain important family health history. The U.S. Surgeon General's Family Health Initiative strongly urges everyone to get their family health history for effective preventive medicine, as well as for one's children. Uh, DNA testing can be costly and not as good as family health history. Uh, thus, adult adopt adoptees' original birth certificates are a human right and also a personal and public health issue, since preventive medicine should help adoptees from becoming seriously ill, it should also ultimately lower overall health care costs as well. Um, I have two personal health issues that I need to keep an eye on. They're all right, but I need to keep an eye on, and I would never have known that uh, had I not found my birth family and learned about it from them. I did not know about it before I found my birth family. Uh, also, if a person wants to determine if they are Jewish under rabbinic law, uh, original birth certificates may be key for that. As well, if a person wants to determine whether they are a member of a Native American tribe, original birth certificates are also key for that. Meanwhile, the adoptive birth certificates, the birth certificates that are altered and given to adoptees after they're adopted, these can be more than a year old even though for those who are adopted at birth. And after 9-11, Homeland Security does not accept birth certificates dated more than a year after birth as proof of U.S. citizenship. This is an obvious problem, especially if you want to get a um, passport or get a replacement for a stolen passport. The current means for adoptees of getting their original birth certificates are inadequate. Court orders are costly and usually not granted. The state mutual consent registry does exist with the idea that if both adoptee and birth mother or, and or birth siblings register and agree to have contact, the mutual consent registry will match them up. However, it is underfunded, understaffed, and not publicized. Few know that it's available to them. When I was searching a few years ago, albeit this was in Illinois, uh, my birth family did not know that there was a mutual consent registry in Illinois. Uh, and passive reunion registries have a success rate of between 1.5 and 10 percent. In New York, those who are born in New York and adopted out of state cannot apply to the New York mutual consent registry. And if the birth parents are deceased, the mutual consent registry does not make a match. Also, the mutual consent registry still 
does not provide the original birth certificate and thus still treats adoptees differently than other people under New York law. Adoptees do not have equal access to original birth certificates under the law. Current means of getting information is inadequate. It, it, it's based on agency worker interviews. Uh, the information that I had that my birth, that my, excuse me, my, my adoptive family had was rather sketchy and incomplete and had virtually no health information. As I said, it's only after I found my birth family that I learned that I had two health issues that I need to keep an eye on for preventive medicine. Uh, one of the questions raised by ad adult adoptees getting original birth certificates is the privacy of the birth mother who gave up her child for adoption. In fact, birth mothers were not actually promised privacy. Uh, meanwhile, adoptees can often search for birth family with large posters on social media sites, which is hardly a private act. And I remember when I was searching, uh, I ended up putting up my date of birth all over uh, various websites, which made me concerned about the possibility for identity theft. That's also hardly a private act. This bill allows birth mothers to either not be contacted or be contacted through a third party or to be contacted directly. And this allows communication privately respecting birth mothers' rights. Meanwhile, this bill also does not have fiscal implications for the state of New York. It does not cost any New York State anything to implement. New York State should sign the New York Bill for Adoptee Rights, Assembly Bill A02901, into law. This bill respects the human rights of adult adoptees to know our identity and origin. It helps the personal health of adult, adult adoptees with the possibility of a family health history for preventive medicine. And similarly, it helps public health to lower health care costs through pre increased preventive medicine. New York would then be in line with 13 other states that respect, that allow a, a original birth certificates for adult adoptees. And this bill respects birth mother's rights for contact or for privacy. If you like, you can also contact NewYorkAdoptionEquality.org, which has been very helpful to me for, with this information. And I had the privilege of joining New York Adoption Equality and going up to lobby legislators in Albany in late April, which, is a which was a pleasure and a privilege. Thank you.